Okay, place detection pad here. Connect alarm hookup. There. Now that's what I call looking out for number one. <laughs> Probably just a fire alarm. Try to go back to sleep. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? Is this a joke? Son, I'm afraid the your alarm whiz no more. 9,000 is no joke. What is going on? Oh, kids, there's something I have to tell you. Your mother and I are wetting the bed. We're wetting the bed? Hey, when you were pregnant, everything was we. <laughs> Turned on. What? I'm sorry, homie. A diaper just isn't sexy. What about Cupid? He's smoking hot. He's a baby with wings. Mark, it's not the diaper. It's what's inside. <laughs> That's just not doing it for me. Oh. Professor Frank, are you all right? Oh, yes, yes, I'm fine, my dear. I was just trying to get past the New York Times paywall and then kaboy. And what brings you out in the middle of the night? It's kind of embarrassing. Yes, I heard about your husband's bedwetting problem. How do you know about it? Tweeted by Bart, retweeted by Krusty. Hmm. Well, perhaps I can help. You see, I have invented a device that allows you to enter someone else's dreams and explore their subconscious. So, we can go inside Homer's sleeping mind and find out why he's wetting the bed? Uh, yes. In fact, I just used it to cure another Springfielder of his particular obsession. Normal Stu likes normal things. Hmm. We're actually entering Dad's dreams? Yes, yes, you see, it's the only way you can uncover the psychological trauma that is causing your father's secret shame. Why does Maggie have to go? What am I, a babysitter? Ooh, so no school for me. <laughs> hey, guys, what you doing in my dream? Trying to fix your broken brain? My brain's fine. In my dreams, I'm an intermediate skier. Ski Patrol, everybody be cool. It's death. I recognize him from 40th birthday cards. <laughs> Homie, this might be a clue. What's in that coffin could be behind your nighttime whoopsies. You wet the bed? Oh, great. 